<laughs> yeah. Hello. Hello. Hi, Hi guys. I'm Barry Cloda. And I'm Chevelle. And we're from the, the Irish Fairy Car Company. <laughs> Did you rehearse that? No. On our last YouTube video, you took the time to ask us some questions that you had about yeah. your fairy and fairy valley. You asked us so many questions. So we have to answer them for you, but there's so many of them that it might take a few videos because yeah. otherwise they'd be really long. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, are we ready? <laughs> I hope I know the answer. Here we go. Okay, first question is from Emer Parkinson. How do fairies grow and will I ever get to see them in my room? Fairies grow when you love them loads. Yeah. And so so the, the more you love your fairy, the more that your fairy will grow. Exactly. And you absolutely will never get to see your fairy in your room. I'm and sorry. Why is that? If you see your fairy who lives behind your fairy door, then they'll lose some of their magic. And we don't want that, do we? Oh, absolutely not. No, no so way. you must be very careful that you don't try and catch them out. Okay. Though oh. they can draw you a picture. They can draw, they love drawing pictures. Yeah, of what they look like. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. And boys and girls, it's really important if you have an Irish fairy door at mm -hmm. home that you must register your fairy on our website. Mm, absolutely. Because you get to see all our fairy stories there, but there's also a fairy story about what height fairies are. Mm -hmm. And you can download a thing called a love a meter. Love a meter. Mm -hmm. And you can download that for free. And that way you can measure your fairy's height. Yeah, because your fairy will mark it off as they get bigger. There you go. <laughs> Boom. That was a good answer. A good okay, yeah. first okay, can I do the next one? Yes, go. Okay. Okay, so this is from Teresa Lavin. Oh no, whoops a daisy. <laughs> it's from Eva. Okay. Do fairies have servants to clean their bedrooms? <laughs> Oh goodness, no! Fairies have to clean their own bedrooms. And fairies like humans, I'm sure, would love to have servants in yeah. the odd time when they get a bit sleepy after having nice. a long night of work. Yeah, it would be nice. But no, they do clean their own bedrooms, just like you or, or, or us do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, next one. Girl, what's this? Flower Girl 007. Woohoo! Cool okay. name. Is my fairy allowed to come to school with me? kind of ties into the question we had before that you're not allowed to see your fairy. Mm -hmm. So you see fairies actually come out at night time and during the day, well, that's when they sleep. And and you don't go to school at night time. No. You go to school in the daytime. Thank and that's goodness when the fairies you don't go asleep. during the night So when the fairies are asleep, you go, they can't go to school. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so they can't come to school with you. No. But they're always there when you come home from school and you can always write them notes. So don't forget that. Yeah, and they love to hear all about what you did at school because mm -hmm. they used to go to fairy school. Of course. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this one is from Emmett Casty. Emmett asks, what happens when you get too old for a fairy or you forget about it? <laughs> you can't get too old for a fairy. <laughs> Don't be it's silly, you're never happens. too old. You're too never too old, old for, fairies. for fairies. But if you do forget about your fairy, will they just move back to Fairy Valley and mm -hmm. they'll go somewhere else? Mm -hmm. Next. Okay, next. Rachel Richie. Hey, Rachel. Ooh. Okay, what's Fairy Valley like? Oh, I could talk about this all day long, Rachel. So beautiful. It's so beautiful. It's so green. Loads of lovely red toadstools to sit Absolutely. on. Absolutely. It's always Flowers bright and sunny there as yeah. well. Except when they want it to be snowy and then they can make it snowy because it's <laughs> very so fun to play. Very, very, very yeah. true. And, and fairies have so much respect for nature and everything that grows in nature. So do. it's just so colourful. There's always oh, yeah. pretty flowers around. And it. there's a heart-shaped lake. There is. And they will sit beside it. And then they're really careful not to fall in because mm -hmm. they can't get their wings mm -hmm. wet. And there's a place called Mushroom Mound there as well. There is. With loads of mushrooms. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And the family tree. The family tree. Yeah, the minded by Nordman. Nordman the giant. Yeah. And that's where all fairies come from, from the family tree, and actually all magical creatures too. <laughs> There's a place called Lavender Lane, yeah. where they all get to do their shopping. Oh, I think you just spend all day there, really. I just you? wish we lived there. And beautiful dress shops. Oh, God. It's just the best place. Bakery shops. Bakery shops. And chocolate shops. Chocolate shops. And raisin shops. Stop it. All of them. Wonderful. Guys. We should probably move on. Move okay, on. okay. And there's just um, a hovercraft going by the window, so that's great. <laughs> what is that? It's a hovercraft. <laughs> so this is from Leah Corcoran, and Leah asked, what is a fairy's favorite thing to do, and what do they like to eat? 
Oh. oh. Fairies love to do exactly what their human likes to do. They're selected in Fairy Valley to go and live with their human. They have the same interests. That's how they choose your fairy. Mm -hmm. So fairies like to do whatever you like to do. Yeah, so that might be like football. You might yeah. like to draw. You might like to sing. You might like to dance. You might like to Singing read. And a bit of anything, really. Anything. Irish dancing, gymnastics. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And fairies love to eat. <gasps> Raisins. <laughs> Delicious. Cheerios. Uh-huh. Dry pasta. Oh, dry pasta. They also love to drink blueberry smoothies. Oh. So what they do, what do they do, Claude? They Come stick on, a Claude teeny tiny straw into a blueberry and they go. It's delicious. Listen, wouldn't anything. mind one myself, lads. So yummy. Mm -hmm. so now, yum. <clears throat> if you need to know what fairies must never eat, you can check out the story time video about Miffy. It's like one of our best <laughs> yeah. stories. Okay, cool, next. 